Good morning. Welcome to a morning review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday, the 19th of October. Looking at the euro dollar first then, and Friday's uh, move would have suggested we may see a continuation to the downside with this uh, bearish pivot swing it's put in there. But at the moment, uh, we've already had a little bit of a an upside move here and has the potential to push on towards its weekly pivot at least, maybe from further. Um, there's not a lot of clues in really what we're seeing here. In fact, um, in some respects, uh, th this sort of wedge pattern on a downward move may suggest further downside in real terms. But let's have a look at what we've got else here, elsewhere. So say we've got a weekly pivot above us. We've just run into the 60.50 now. Now maybe I can uh, adjust this a little bit here. This is, I wanted to see a bit of... Um, wanted to see the 60.50 hit. It's been hit now uh, before I actually recorded. So um, looking at this, as I say, you've got this wedge pattern that's sitting here. Um, it really, it, it, for me, it depends on which way it breaks out of here. If you can break through this 50, and remembering that the 50 is the first time it's been hit, um, well, uh, if we can break through there, I'd, I'd be looking at the bullish side of it this morning. Uh, alternatively, break of the lows, break towards the lows, um, may see us running down towards the uh, daily S1, uh, Friday's lows and daily S1. Uh, as I said, the bigger picture when you look at this, or I say the bigger picture, the more intermediate picture, is, is erring fractionally on the bearish side. However, let's just see, we'll see how we go. Cable, let's get back and look at the upper time frames first. And really tight cable still is in the but the ball picture, and this is we've got the higher lows on the dailies nicely set out there last week, sort of leaving us now with this <coughs> sort of uh, flag pattern that's uh, being formed here on the four alleys in this uh, in the, on the daily side of things here. If it was to break up here now, it could look quite bullish. Uh, we do have the weekly uh, pivot below us, so uh, there is that chance of that popping down to catch that. But uh, as I say, at the moment, it's more erring on, on these two time frames on the daily and the four alley, maybe erring a little bit more sort of to the bullish side of things here. Um, but again, when you come down to the alleys, a little bit less decisive. It, it was just short of its uh, alley 50 a short while ago there. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it if it can break, and I um, mean it's already hit the alley 50, so um, and maybe if it does hit it again, it will push through. Did have a bit of a struggle last week towards the highs. So it's probably not the strongest of, uh, of, of pairs. And Friday's uh, range was very, very tight. So we ju I just need to watch and see what happens this morning. As I say, if it breaks towards the low side, well, I'll, I'll try and uh, trade that down towards the uh, week weekly pivot there. But uh, looking um, decidedly uh, in, indecided, <laughs> undecided there in that respect. Dolly yen um, put in a, a, a daily uh, pivot swing here on the dailies, but it hasn't broken the highs of that yet, so it hasn't triggered that move. Just looking at this, to me, it's almost, uh, I mean, it's come right the way back, hit the weekly pivot, hit the sort of targets we'd expect. It, well, if it, if it was to push to the highs here, where we could be put pushing out back towards that uh, uh, daily 50 moving average, which is moving pretty well down towards price it would be a target if it did start weakening against the dollar and start pushing up um, alternatively it does uh, at the moment to me it looks like it could just sort of roll over here and push on down when you look at the hourlies uh, we've had a few taps and almost a third tap there on that trend line but if it could break down maybe the hourly 50 could be a target but again that's been hit before so maybe push on beyond that down towards the S1 sort of erring that way at the moment um, which would uh, suggest potential strength elsewhere and the um, I should mention uh, there was some sort of uh, news at around about three o'clock actually it's showing here as a as a, a shot up on the uh, yen a dollar yen pushed up at that point but uh, the uh, Chinese GDP came out better than expected so it leads us quite nicely into the Aussie dollar here which also has a big uh, effect on 
And you see the rally came out at three o'clock there, the rally caused by the uh, Aussie, uh, the Chinese GDP coming out better. So continuing then with the Aussie and what we've got here is still in this sort of range for, on the dailies. Uh, well, as I said last week, it, it, there is the potential. It could just get into a bit of a range here. It's done it before gets to a sort of certain level and gets a bit range bound and there's a possibility it could do. Um, there is, uh, I say an obvious, but there are some trend lines we should be looking at. The probably into a bigger picture here, sort of sitting across here, here, and that may just give us a bit more of a clue. Um, break to the upside would be a continuation of the f sort of flaggy type pattern and uh, well, uh, we'll have to see how that rolls out. But uh, at the moment, um, it's given up some of its earlier gains there. It's a sort of a bull flag in a bear flag sort of situation. If it, if it just sort of draw it on, sorry. So you've got this little uh, intermediate sort of bull, uh, bull flag going on here, but you've got this bigger picture here, which is stirring towards the downside. And it may be we just come back down towards the, the S1 sort of area here, uh, push down towards the monthly and uh, daily S1s here. Uh, if it does carry on breaking to the downside. So very uh, iffy morning. Um, in terms of news today, we've got very little significant news coming out. So it could be just a bit more of a continuation of this smaller range in days. Uh, there's not a lot to drive us at the moment in terms of the markets until we get back towards uh, uh, interest rate talks and you know, meetings of the FOMC, etc running into next month but uh, at the moment it's uh, is looking quite quiet in terms of uh, news wise overall urge well we are looking and this is almost a slight bias towards the upside for the uh, um, the euro pound and uh, Aussie um, and downside obviously for the um, yen but it's only a slightish uh, urge on that and that could all be changed and I could soon get bearish on these markets. Okay, that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now.